all of our communities are being tore apart. There's a lot of things worth more than money. Apex, the master they serve is money. We're going to find out what master these communities serve. Because you're going to find out these communities are not going to, are not going to put up with an ordinance designed for a company. Thank you. Yeah, Robin Colson on Maple Valley. Um, at the last planning commission meeting, I believe Brandy Hubbard stood up and said that she wanted to see each and every one of this research that you did in 30 days. So we're asking Todd where he got his information, and he doesn't want to answer us. He doesn't have to. We already know. Word for word for Batum from Apex. Am I not right? You can shake your head. You can go right ahead, because I believe you. That was a slap in the face to every single person on that planning commission, Todd. I wish one of your kids would have been on that planning commission. Would you shit in their face? I doubt it. Um, I'm not sure who just stood up and said, what about the girl that talked about her husband's health? Yeah. See, that was Mike Olson. Okay. Um, but I noticed both of you went, like, that's not what we were dealing with. I just want to show you a picture of my husband and my children. I have four little boys. And my husband told me that he couldn't live like that. And right outside of my back door. I'm Pat Clark's next door neighbor. Right outside of my back door is a 300 foot tower. It towers over the trees. This isn't just, oh, that neighbor has the right to do this. Nobody lives on that property where the wind testing tower is on Dina. Nobody lives there. I do. And it's just, I, I want you to see that it's very real to some of us. And a lot of us stood up here with passion and caring about this. And I don't understand how that couldn't matter. And I am directing it at you two and you also, mm -hmm. because it does matter to me. My husband is 36 years old and he's the hardest working best man I know. And the waves right there can attest to when he got his head injury because he was working on their house. They, they saw how much it completely took him down to be a different person. We were dealing with these symptoms going on in his life every single day. We moved here seven years ago. We love Lakeview. We absolutely love it. We love that our kids are growing up here. But this is a room full of people who poured their hearts out to get it completely stomped on. I know Brandy somewhat personally. I live in her childhood house. I know how hard she has worked on this. Her husband has come to our house multiple times to discuss it. The man that just stood there has come to our house to discuss it. These people have worked their butts off on this. And it is personal. And I'm not attacking you guys for being in Apex's pocket or whatever. I don't know that. But I am saying you didn't listen to something very personal to me. And that is my husband and my children. So I hope it's worth it. I really do. Anybody else? <laughs> Kevin. Kevin Murphy, Winfield Township. You can still reopen your decisions because it's you're you're going to go down a dead end road. I mean, it's so obvious. Todd, you said you have no skin in the game, no money's coming into you. Why would you do that then? Your family has been here. Your father, your, I mean, you're doing it for a couple of people. Not the entire township. I mean, Darren will pull me over if I do 60 freaking miles an hour down the road when it's 25. You're sound. Well, how about if I go three miles an hour from the corner till I get to the hospital and nail it? It's an average. They're... Come on, you, you know what you're doing. It's a shame, really. Reopen. Re go with Ms. Bernwald's decision. 400 feet was perfect. You're not telling them they can't have them. 
Grand Haven Township, there's 150. The attorney, Reddick, lives there. Is Douglas attorney. He said, oh, God, you can't go, you can't, you can't go that low because you're making it too restrictive. Well, they live in a high, wa high water, expensive home. You know, we're hillbillies in here. That's what they think, and we're not. We have as much right to protect our own property, and I think you want to protect it for the rest of us as well. So please reopen it, discuss it. You got all, we, we got all night. Thank you. Okay, so many of you guys may or may not know. I was a Marine. In the Marine Corps, I was taught, number one, mission accomplishment. When you appointed me to the Planning Commission, my mission then became protect the health, welfare, and safety. You just tied my hands to our back. I can't go back as a Planning Commission and fix that. As alignment, I don't get to make mistakes. One mistake, and I'm dead. And the guy in the bucket next to me is dead too. And I just scarred a poor kid's life for the rest of his life. And he's going to leave a trade that makes $100,000 a year because he can't stand to be out there. I've seen this happen. If any one of these people in Cato Township has what she read stories about, if it affects her husband, I fail them as a planning commissioner, and I will not stand for it. I just won't. Yeah. Since I'm one person with him, uh, Chelsea Stryker, yeah. Cato Township, that bottom half of Cato you're talking about, that's my backyard. I live on Lake Forest. It is a small lake. It's barely named in the master plan because it's so small. When the wetlands are full around it, guess where it drains into? Our swimming hole, where my children are every day. It is an asset, and it is wonderful. And you are about to change my backyard. What gives you that right? This is my peace in my home. Please don't do this. I am begging you. For me and my children. And this lady. Grace Dad City Township, my heart's broken. Just change the names on that piece of paper I gave you to the people in this room. If this is about money, my husband did the research on this. He does the math. I'm not a math person. I'm not getting a cent. I, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> accusing you of anything. This is public comment. Let me finish, please. I'm not accusing you of anything. If you do the math on this, if you raise the people's taxes in your township, to match the money that the taxes that the wind turbines in your township would bring in, and you narrow it down to each individual. In some town townships, it would be, if you did the math for Pine Township, $9 a year raise in taxes to match the taxes that these wind turbines would bring in. In your township, it's probably more than more like six dollars a year. Two Big Macs. There are alternatives. There are, are alternatives to wind energy. There are safer, cleaner, more reliable alternatives. Wind turbines are not reliable. We all know that. They are not worth it monetarily. They barely pay for themselves in the lifetime of a turbine. That's common knowledge. You think these stories of people who are complaining about health issues are birthed in fear? That's a lie. Psychosomatic? That's a lie. Apex has lied to us. Apex has lied about us, most likely to you. We know about the MTA. They're a lobbying organization. They have no legal authority. We know the pervasive attitude in the MTA. There's money. There's money. We see the lawyers that they hire. We see the lawyers that speak at their meetings. What makes you think 
that someone who would lie to us and lie about us hasn't lied to you. This is public comment, okay? Don't you don't have to answer. We're being bullied by Larry mm -hmm. because he's he don't care about us. Right. He cares about Pat Carr. Right. Todd Lincoln cares about Pat Carr and Dan Terrace. Mm -hmm. And and we don't matter. No. And, and for you, not sorry, because I won't call on it, but for the wind turbine to bring electric to this community is false. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does not. It doesn't. <laughs> for for the wet, wetlands that you're wondering about, Joyce, that you were given, Brian O'Shea handed you and said, this is totally restrictive. There is no possible way. What, what was said by the Eagle person, there is no designated wetland. When a potential site comes on, then they will come out and say what is designated and what is not. It is not water. There's... Ponds across my road, I can show, show you on there. They're not there anymore, Larry. They're gone. It's called Farmers Did That. So what Apex showed you is a lie. Mm -hmm. But you don't care about us. You care about seven individuals in this township. And guess what that's going to get you? We need new leadership. That's what it's going to get. Yeah. I know you don't care because you've been here 40 years, like you told Leslie, and, and you you know, you don't care. Well, that's pretty sad. You don't care about all these people. That's sad. Is there an Apex representative here? Yeah, there are two of them right here. No, no, no they're I not. Mean, from, oh, from Apex. Oh, no? No? No. no? Oh. They knew what you were going to do tonight. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Jim from Cato Township. Uh, moved here with my wife uh, about seven years ago. Uh, trying to start a family. About to have my fourth daughter uh, born. We love living here. Her family's been here their whole life. Uh, my family was born and raised here. My little girls play outside almost every day. Rain or shine, sun or snow. I can't stop picturing that windmill in Texas on fire, spinning around, throwing who knows what off it. Well, my little girls are playing out in the yard, and there's a windmill in my backyard. You guys going to have a windmill in your backyard? No. 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 You can come to dinner when they're in mine. Um, anybody else? Rowan Cato. Um, so, um, I've been to many other townships voting day. And one thing I found that was interesting, Todd, is that you threw out all of yours in one vote. The other townships did each thing individually. So I think maybe maybe that that was a new way to um, put out the yeah, a new way to put out the uh, motion and get everything done instead of maybe just one or two things. At least we had an amendment on something, but um, i just uh, disappointed. Mm -hmm. I really am. I, I, like I said at other meetings, I was bragging about what a great integrous board that we have. I, I don't feel like that at this moment. I might some other day, but I really feel bad for you guys that put your heart and soul into this, mm -hmm. and you did it right. Um, so, I just wanted to say that I'm <laughs> Sad it went down that way, and I wish it maybe would have done. You would have done individual motions on your stuff. I don't know why you packed it in like that, but you prepared your other townships. Apparently, that's a new way um, that they're going to try and get everything passed to to their way. So, anyway, thank you for. Um, Kathy Craig Douglas Township. So, I also uh, think that your planning commission did a very good job on their ordinance. Um, Todd, you mentioned that some of the neighboring townships, that's what you modeled your uh, LAQ request on. But Eureka, Sydney, Pine, Pearson, 
they their PC recommended to their board and the, their boards adopted safe and restrictive legally defensible ordinances, but you didn't mention any of those, and they're also in Montcalm County. And they're not getting recalled. So I don't, so I don't really understand the logic. I commend you for your explanation and your reasoning and backing up everything you said with research and reasons and how things would protect people. So again, four times a, a tip height setback is protective, so why change something protective to something less protective when no one's asking for that? Right. Again, I don't understand the logic. The other thing I want to point out is at one point tonight when I looked around, I counted at least 65 people and I didn't I couldn't even see who was in the in the hallway. One person spoke out of 65 people, one person spoke that they thought they uh, the turbines should come here. So again, I don't know how logically you can look and, and shake your head like you seem to be listening to all these people and all of their concerns and then throw all of it out the window. I, I do not understand the logic. And I, I, you seem like a reasonable person, so I don't know why you would, without having skin in the game, without having land to sign up, why you as a person making those changes and you are not giving any basis for making things less restrictive and less safe. The sound is less safe. That mm -hmm. is... That's a fact. I think it's easily proven and easily backed up with multiple research um, studies. So again, if you could provide a reason why you want to go less safe and less restrictive for the environment and for people and for animals, I, I'd be curious as to what your reasoning is. Thank you. Me? Yeah. Pam Hemmes, Montcalm Township. Um, first thing I want to say, Todd, you shook your head no about ex explanations, is according to the MTA, every person on this board is supposed to be able to and should justify <clears throat> their vote, be able to explain why they voted the way they did. And I think on every issue that you change in that ordinance, each of you should be able to tell us why you voted to change that. And that is something the MTA says you should do when you have a vote. Not just on big issues like this, even on little issues, you should say, this is why I'm voting this way. And to be not willing to do that is not serving your community and the public. Um, I'd also like to mention that in Virginia, um, there's an area where they have now been fighting with Apex, which is their state. They've been fighting for seven years to stop a project from going in. This could go on for a very, very long time because the people here are ready. Um, and the other thing with our neighbor whose husband has a brain injury, a, cl a closed brain injury, um, and experiences vertigo and other issues, our friend Nancy Welke in Gratiot County was placed unsafely uh, with turbines. Gratefully, she has now moved to a farm that they've had to do a tremendous amount of work to get her new place going. She is a person who has vertigo. They're not, it's not caused by the turbine, but it's triggered by the turbine. So it will be an issue for people. And if my granddaughter with autism lived in this area, I would be very concerned about her also. But I really think you need to justify, each of you. And I thank you, because you did. You said what you were voting about. You, 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 know, you justified what the Planning Commission did. And thank you for your vote. we have is there there is no amount of logic that will move their opinion mm -hmm. it, 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 it's it, it's set in stone and there's there's no good argument that we can have and you all have great arguments mm -hmm. and there's nothing that, that that's going to move a stubborn uneducated oh, mind yeah. and so that's what we're up against I, i'm learning a lot how important local government is mm -hmm. and when we and when we, when we elect arrogant, uneducated, um, stubborn people to office, this is what we get. Mm -hmm. And and uh, so I've, you know, all most of my life I've just elected people, you know, voted for people and assumed they were taking our best interests mm -hmm. in mind. Mm -hmm. And I've been sorely mistaken about that. Even you know, you think of it on a national level, but even down to the local level, 
uh, we have to start electing better people that aren't stubborn, aren't uneducated, and will listen to their constituency. And that's all I have to say. Chris Scout, Pedro Township. Um, I think Dave did his job up there. The rest of you didn't. And, uh, you're a shame. You you draw a shame to Lakeview and the co community. It's uh, real sad to see Republicans act like this. Anybody? Back row. Hi, I'm Dawn Sweet, Pine Township. But I do want to say that Cato Township has my heart too. I live not very far away, and I have a vested interest in Cato. You guys are my people, and I care about you, and I love you, all of you. I'm just really curious. I just have one question. What, what does it take to get you guys to turn your backs on 90 plus percent of the people that trusted you? To do what's right for them. How sad. 90%. What, what does it take? Money. I, I you said it wasn't money. County commissioner. You won't be in there next time. Well, can't you deliver it? How would they sleep tonight? Without
Yeah. Can we see it? Would, like, launch yeah, it it's in the office across the street. Yeah. Joyce is going to sew the two together for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Two. He's going to? Yeah. I told him if he's going to have one, he's got to have the other, so I sew them together. <laughs> Pass the pro win project on the no win yeah. pass. Do you seconds. turn the cup to show your support when depending on your audience? I don't even, <laughs> I don't even use it. I think we all know where support line is. Yeah, I just have 30 seconds to give you some information. Please. On the fires, 91% of them are not reported. Chandler Township, Michigan, had two in one year. It's not rare. Gentlemen talked about compromise, but what you had before you was a compromise. The citizens of this township don't want a single wind turbine under any circumstances in this township. They offered you a compromise, and you threw it back in their faces. Before I retired, I spent 40 years as a real estate development lawyer. Early on in my career, I worked with a young planner. We were going into a, to try to sell a project. And he jokingly said, isn't your job to, when they don't give us what we want, to pound on the table and say what you've done tonight? is bloody indefensible. In 40 years, I've never said that. I've never said that. What you guys have done tonight is bloody indefensible. Wow. Phil Morrill, Kato Township. I, I do believe as a planning commission, we did compromise, just so you all know. We really do. Thank, thank you, Dave. Thank you, Joyce. I think you made some good points, too. Um, I think this room was videotaped. I really do. I don't know why we all had to stand outside prior to coming into this building. I see a videotape up here. I'm sure there's one out there. I'm sure there's one in the back room. I find it very interesting. When we got here, there was three individuals in this room. One came to the back room. Where did that door go to? They're in the restroom. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, when we were all outside, Joyce didn't even, wasn't even here. Dave couldn't get in the building. Huh. Huh. Oh, oh. You're to yeah. I, I don't. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. But I've learned a lot about. I know the code out back. I know a lot about politics. I'm learning a lot about politics for the last few months since I got in this planning commission. Was never involved with it. Ran a multi-million dollar business for many years, and I'm learning about it. I really am. I've learned a lot tonight. Anybody else? Say a new hand. Oh. Should we consider at all? We could open it back up. Here's a new. But they had a crowd yeah. rushing then. Okay. So when we talk about bullying and disrupt the crowd, mm -hmm. we haven't seen one. Any other, anything else? Hold on. Well, that's on the big board. Meeting. 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 Meeting.